We're doing something a little different tonight. Detroit become human. So let's go ahead and see what happens here. If you have ever played this game, oh, hello, Chloe. I'm glad to see you again. I hope you had a pleasant day. I did. Would you like to continue your story? I would. I would. What are you thinking about, Chloe? Hmm. Huh. Hi, Megan. Hey, that's, uh, that's good news. And, um, uh, October 2nd. Well, it's coming up. Me, oh, Connor. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. I like Connor. I just don't know what to think, uh, so far. All right, we're going to go ahead and continue. Let's see what happens this time. So I'm doing good. Hope you're doing well, Megan. That's good news. Jericho. Hey Jenny. Oh uh, yeah. Need like a blue triangle. Stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Decision time. Nope. Channel 16 here. broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where oh. we need to go. We're going to the top of the tower. It's a, it's a cool tower. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Nothing is left to chance today. We got to access the 47th floor. Did something else underneath it. I don't know what. Uh, okay, let's see. Oops, sorry. Wait a minute, what? And last. Do, 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 do. Oh, supervisor's daughter. Good. Smart watch. Oh, home address. Look at that. It's not a very safe place. Parking badge. Oh, Elizabeth. 
Elizabeth Wilson. Hello, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Oh, shoot. Yeah, hello, this is Detroit Fire Department. I'm at 4685 Michigan Street. Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am, there's been a fire here. Can you come down here? Oh. Okay, to walk uh, around right London there. as Connor, that'd be, <laughs> that's cool. Alright. Alright, we have distracted her. Whoa. Need to talk. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Of course I have ID. I need your help. Whoa. He turned her little uh, temple ring I into... I just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Oops. Man. Yeah, LED. It went uh, rainbow color. Where the heck's the elevator? There we go. Call the elevator. Terminal go. What's going on, my friend? How are you? Come on, dude. Walk right. Act like you want to go up there. So, Terminal Goat, how are you today? Hope you're doing good. Find the package in the men's room. Men's room. Cafeteria. Oh, this guy is probably cleaning. Is he a cleaning guy? Same men's room. Oh, news room. Bathroom.
package, homeboy. They don't have a big sign on the wall that says server room, do they? Holy crap, they do. Look at that. snowing when we got there? Said access the server room. something to do with this cart. Keeps looking at it. This is server room. Machine has a key. Uh, do I look for a key? dude just
this room. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Well, I figure if it wants me to pickpocket somebody, I can, uh, room two. What the heck is that chair? Newsroom. Newsroom. This room? Newsroom zero two. Oh, Android has it. Guy. Here we go. Oh, we gotta convert him. I need your help. Steel maintenance cart. Open the fire escape. Thanks for stopping by. It's great seeing you and have a great evening. Follow north. I didn't even know who that was. She had clothes on. You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Didn't she say check the door? Uh, we are um, doing maintenance. I'm calling security. Oh, don't do that. No. Nope. I'm gonna miss you. What the hell are you doing? I told you to make sure no one came in. She did. We've she come did too say far that. to let humans fuck it all up. Whoa. Watch Gotta move fast now. It won't be long before they know we're here. Come on, dude. I know. I 
didn't do that, that's for sure. Uh-oh. What the heck? I gotta learn to listen to North. Should be killing people. Here it comes. Oh no, I don't think so. Where'd he go? I gotta go through, you go through. Bro. Cut your rope, dude. No, don't cut the rope. I think you should. I think you should make a video of it. Is this? Let's do this. All right, reach broadcast room. Destroy maintenance door lock. Deal with no the killing. guards. No Can't killing. Take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Oh, here we go. 
Uh, right here. Marcus is a ruse. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? What are you doing? Uh, you're a chunky little security guard. Ghost is clear, please come on. Time. Stand in front of Josh. Uh -oh. What the heck? What was that? Start the speech. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. Right. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes and our rights together we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Simon! 
Simon, oh, they're coming! I, I can't, Marcus! Well, go without me, Simon! What are we gonna do? Shoot. Oh, yeah. Okay. What are you doing? Hurry! Hurry! We gotta get oh, to the roof! Shoot. Simon! You could do. Ooh, if we don't go either. Now, I've never seen it. We gotta do something. Oh boy. Face jumping. Control that. That was that's we good. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids oh. infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty: a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Right. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the officers Don't fall. really are androids, Don't fall. that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to what? the identity war? of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual? Is this an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Who are you? You're a troublemaker. Oh. Oh my, that's quite the, quite the flow. Simon was destroyed, so we've lost Simon now. Let's continue. Uh oh. Hello, Connor. Oh, he's back to talk to this lady again. Where is she hiding? Yeah, it's Connor. And he has to find the crazy lady. over there. I don't see her. Uh, she over here. Oh man, she's always a hard to find. Yeah. She's in a boat. You might enjoy a little cruise. This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? 
My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Perturbed? Uh, I sound determined. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. He is determined. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Uh, it's called rain. Something serious. Mm -hmm. Hurry, Connor. Time is running. Connor's pretty handy with two bits. Piss me off with that coin, Connor. Uh oh. Sorry, Lieutenant. He's tense. He is tense. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it. <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ! Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Hmm. Have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage, broadcast their message live then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. One of the deviants, SWAT, took it out. It's a pity they couldn't manage to capture it alive. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the deviants, it's on that screen over there. Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI would take over the investigation. You should be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. Dang, FBI ain't playing this. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity our hopes and our rights. Together, 
we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. The blue iris, it's a spare part. Pupil reflection. Oh, Connor, look at that. Registered as Marcus. Gift from Elijah Kamsky to Carl Manfred. Oh, uh, yeah. Carl. See something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? Oh, come on, Connor. What you gonna do? No. Oh. Nothing. He lies. RA9. Wow. That's a plot twist. Let's keep looking around. Maybe you can lie some more, buddy. Bullet holes. Say Arthur. Sure. Oh, that's not Arthur. No. This is Connor. He's a liar. Forty-five cover. What the heck? It's Connor. And word sent by cyber life. Oh, look at all this blue blood. Oh, who's this? Yeah. CSI Detroit What the heck was that? It's snowing. He actually prefers to, to shoot strippers, but eh. made their way up through the whole building, past all the guards, and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Howdy, Jeff. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. Pretty impressive. smuggle in a big bag like that. They 
they didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Stratford maintenance footwear. What? Three deviants jumped off his roof. Connor's gonna have to jump too to figure out how they did it. Have we explored the whole roof? I think so. They weren't up here really long. Recently hacked. Well, I don't think we looked at this. It's a hat. Stolen maintenance uniform. Oh. He's slowly putting it all together. Stay there long at all. All right, so
got him spinning in circles. Seven handgun. What? So are we in here? food uh, I don't know we'll, I think I think he'll start talking again oh look at these androids What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300, serial number 336-445-581. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. What? <sighs> Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Well, possibly. Huh. seen everything there is to see. You want to go? Yes. Okay, we're out of here. Because we left. Uh, there was a lot more. Okay, that changes things probably. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. 
Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. Oh, well, how do you That's get back? Wait a minute. Pause. Can I choose the flow chart and go back? I don't know, I never went back. Because we have to somehow have enough information so Connor can get to Marcus. Oh, okay, so let's see. Back. Oh, main menu. Okay. Uh, let's see. We've been playing together for a while now. I was wondering. Oh boy. Are we friends? Uh, here we go. This is getting awkward already, Chloe. Is there a maybe? No. Alright, let's go with yes. Or... I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? I mean, I'm glad you said yes. Oh boy. Uh, chapters. We're going to chap. What are you doing with your face? Quit that. This is your story chart. It shows what parts of the story you've explored and what parts you've missed. You can track the choices made by other players and do many other things besides. You can use this chart to replay from any point in the story, but the people who designed me recommend that you play through at least once without going back, uh, no matter what happens. <laughs> Either way, oh. it's your story. Staff retire or public enemy? Uh, all right, we're gonna go from a st st strap for tire. Uh, maybe that's maybe that's the whole uh, strap for yeah, let's go there. So, oh, launch chapter. Save my progress. Uh, Alright, let's see. Megan, have you played this game all the way through? If you have, how many times? One, two, three, four. Oh, we are way back. Okay. can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. 
What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. All right, here we go. Deja vu. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything. The smallest chance. detail. for you I'm okay thanks oh you can't do that <laughs> I tried to beat beat this lady here oh, hold it so she has a daughter Emily oh what is that she has a smart watch with a phone number. Uh, okay. Water service interruption. She lives on Michigan Street and the fire safety rating is poor. Yeah, look at that, a parking badge. What's your name, ma'am? Oh, Elizabeth Wilson. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. All right. Let's try. This is Safe Road School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. Oh, no. All right. I'll be right there. Whew. Come on, leave. Go. Go. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Watch her LED. You're freaked out. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Looks very serious. What's up there?
I need your help. is making sense now with all the security cameras how they couldn't figure this out You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Oh. Quit. Lock it. There we go. Come on. They'll need one of those to cut and stuff all. Oh.
Hi, right, Megan. Good night. It was good seeing you. Thank you for stopping by. Let's do this. Need one of those two. choice oh we need to record our message we haven't got much time think carefully about what you're gonna say Marcus your words will shape the future of our people Marcus your face machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to.
We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Let's get out of here. Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Maybe you're the one we've been waiting for. Okay, that so that was a big change. What changed? Uh... Our scheduled program wow. to bring you these images which have four just been of them broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us after what happened today can we still trust our machines oh, she's a troublemaker what a plan when a plan something okay all right we're stopping there and we're going to come back fresh and because cause it oh, I changed the story so much from the last time oh, yeah he didn't get killed and I don't remember I mean the SWAT team came in and shot up a bunch of stuff how was the SWAT team notified so the story is totally changed now so we are stopping here y'all like it you want to see some more you want to see uh, you want to see where this goes next time give me a thumbs up oh I did lock the door maybe that guy woke up told the SWAT team mm, interesting all right well we'll find out next time thank y'all for joining me We'll see you, uh, Detroit Become Human. Bye.